Three weeks ago, Chief Best and I both laid out our vision for policing and community safety in Seattle. The challenges and systemic problems that community has rightfully asked us to solve are difficult and deeply entrenched in American society and government. No one mayor, no one chief, and no one city will solve them on their own. But we must act. We must begin the change now. The chief and I are committed to doing so. We believe we can lead the nation as we have done before. But I must be clear, we will not support any effort to abolish the police department or cuts that will compromise the chief and SPD's ability to serve the people of Seattle. We know that not every 911 call requires an officer to arrive with a gun. In so many instances, people might be better served by a mental health professional, a firefighter, a dispute resolution specialist, or a social worker. Sometimes it takes both. Over the last decade, we've asked police to respond to so many of society and government's failures, including substance abuse, behavioral health crisis, and homelessness. But it's clear that law enforcement is not always the appropriate avenue to deal with these issues. We need to invest in community-based solutions that address the underlying root issues leading to these challenges. Community has made clear they want us to transform the Seattle Police Department and to reinvest in programs that provide this kind of community safety. As Chief Best and I continue going into a deeper analysis of the Seattle Police Department's budget, and most important, the personnel and departments that we need, we have quickly identified some common sense transfers, reorganizations, and reductions that we can make for next year's budget. Today, the Chief and I are announcing an initial $76 million in reductions to the 2021 budget. These initial actions will keep 911 service accessible and available 24-7 in every part of the city with appropriate response times in every neighborhood. We have that obligation as we work through this process of reimagining and restructuring community safety in Seattle. $56 million will be transferred out of the department's 2021 budget by moving the following functions to civilian non-law enforcement oversight. The 911 call center will be moved out of the Seattle Police Department. The parking enforcement division will be moved out of the Seattle Police Department and into the Seattle Department of Transportation. The Office of Emergency Management and Office of Police Accountability also will be moved out of the Police Department. In addition, we've identified an initial $20 million in cuts by not expanding the force in 2021 and making reductions to overtime. Our assessment of what needs to be done has to be based on facts and data so that we can continue to serve the people of Seattle. Our actions are an important start, but the work we're doing for assessments will continue and actually require community engagement and a deep assessment of SPDs and its jobs. The chief and I had already recognized the needs for these ties to community and for alternative responses. It's why we relaunched the community service officers who are civilians working on youth safety and non-emergency calls. It's why we added mental health workers at every SPD precinct. It's why we created alternative programs for individuals calling 911, like Health One, which Chief Scoggins helped design. It's why a social worker and a firefighter uh, respond to, to calls that previously police responded to. It's why we increased nurses at our homeless shelters, particularly those that were the highest for 911 calls. We know those kind of public health interventions work, but they have to be planned they have to be resourced, and they have to be in place. In one of her first actions as chief, Chief Best launched the first ever in the country, the Collaborative Policing Bureau. While every officer is committed to community engagement, this bureau brought together community policing teams and CSOs in a new way under Assistant Chief Diaz. 
We know we must act urgently, but we cannot simply cut functions from SPD or quit responding to 911 calls. If we want to be able to send the right help, which sometimes will not be a police officer, we have to build that capability with the right people, the right resources, and the right training 24-7 in every part of our city. Right now, SPD is doing two major deep dives into their data and their organization. 911 calls and reviewing specialty units, we cannot cut officers overnight when there's no plan. We will be assessing how many officers we actually need to respond 24-7 in every part of our city. Doing the job right has to be the basis for budgeting decisions. Chief Best and I are committed to this complex work. It's why we have SPD and the Budget Office currently evaluating what calls are best handled by someone other than a sworn officer. Looking at SPD functions to determine if any can be civilianized, transferred, reduced, or eliminated. Looking at nearly 800,000 911 calls from community to determine should there be new emergency response protocols. Looking at data on arrests and bookings to determine if citations would be more appropriate. The response to other agencies, including Metro and the Seattle Public Schools. Current overtime practices, including staffing at special events and sporting events and potential expansion of programs like Health One and Community Service Officers, which provide civilian need-based responses to emergencies. All of these potential areas for transformation are deeply complex, and we must approach each problem with a level of intelligence and planning to ensure we actually make lasting change.